welcome to this day. It is Saturday, September 30th. Uh, saying, goodbye to, saying goodbye to September. Okay, October is around the corner. Tomorrow, starting there. Where did the month go? I'm wearing my fall colors. I'm trying to get us in the mood. We've got a rainy weekend. You know, it's, it seems appropriate. Everybody's out there with a lattes, hopefully, this weekend. Hey, on our show today, we got a pretty fun one for us. Um, Orcam. Cameron Hessling is going to be here. And let me tell you something. This is, they actually have some amazing devices for folks who are having any kind of vision challenges, uh, whether there's some sort of degenerative thing going on with your eyes. Um, you can, these things will help you read. They'll help you kind of have a little bit more independence out there in the world. They're amazing. Some amazing technology I want to tell you about that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And we want you to thrive in the village. And Beth Perrick is going to be able to tell us how we can do that. So we'll have her on a little bit later in the program as well. Let's take a look outside. We got uh, rainy, rainy conditions that are going to be happening. And uh, folks, it's going to be pretty rainy for most of the day today, on and off. We got some light rain. It looks like a tenth to a quarter of an inch, so nothing major, uh, but really kind of, kind of rare for this time of year. So enjoy it while you can, the low temperatures, the fall-like conditions out there. Tomorrow morning, we'll still have that little bit of a chance of rain. For, for mostly, it's going to be clearing out most of Sunday, but that'll be the coolest day of the week. And then, uh, as we have in the pattern that we usually get, uh, when the oh, system comes through, we kind of get like a Santa Ana-like condition. So we're going to have some temperatures rising, 72. But midweek next week, we're going to see some, some temperatures back in the 80s. So enjoy the fall weather while we can. Let's take a look at our sunrise and our sunset. Uh, sunrise is 645 and sunset 6. 35. And this photo is by Ben Givens. It's over in Corona Del Mar. Took the picture, and it's a great one. Really appreciate that one, Ben. Just keep sending those in. We'll keep putting them on the air for us. If you'd like to send in your picture, well, you can do that as well. We love to see sunset pictures, sunrise pictures. We love to see all sorts of fun stuff. And you can do that by sending the image to Laguna Woods Village TV at gmail.com. We're also taking pictures of your pets as well. We got a couple of those coming up, and uh, I'll be doing one of those on Monday. Uh, make sure you tell us your name, where the picture was taken, and of course, take it like this, not like this on your phone, so that we will make it fit on the screen. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna be talking to uh, Cameron Hessling from Orcam. Stay with us. Orcam Read empowers people with low vision. Sometimes reading can be a challenge. With Orcam Read, just point and click. Read at work. Read a recipe. Read a magazine. Read anything you want. Orcam Read. Orcam is a company that helps people with some vision loss or reading difficulties be able to have all that world open up to them again. And we want to welcome Cameron Hessling to the program from Orcam. They're going to talk to us a little bit about what this is all about and how it works. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me and having Orcam back. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Um, so uh, there are all sorts of different devices you guys have for low vision and, and people with reading <clears throat> difficulties. What are some of the differences between them all? Like what, what should people be looking for when you do a consultation with them? Yeah, great question. So Orcam has assistive technology or is the manufacturer of assistive technology devices. So all of our devices are text-to-speech devices. So simply what they're going to do is take a picture of any relatively normal text that's in front of you and read it back through a speaker that's in the back. We have wearable devices, we have handheld devices, and we have our newest Read 3 device. Okay. So I'll turn on this wearable one right here. It's really small, it's about three Battery inches long. Charged. It's very chatty. It's which charged. Is good. <laughs> it's charged. It'll let you know it's very chatty, which is helpful because our well, devices. Right off the bat, I was going to say that's helpful because if you're having a vision problem, you can't look at your device and see how the charge exactly. is going. Exactly. So it'll always be very chatty with you. Um, all of our all of our devices are designed to meet you where you're at. Okay. So for this device, it will just place on any glasses with a magnetic mount right here. 
So okay. it can place on, these are prop glasses. You can utilize you know, prescription glasses if you have them, sunglasses, whatever it might be for you. Um, and this is a really good hands-free option. Again, it just depends um, what's best for the end user. I can hold up any relatively normal text in front of me. Ooh, I'm shaky. <laughs> you can set it down. <laughs> so here, I'll set it down right here. See, it's good because there are multiple options. And I can just take a picture, excuse me, of the text that's in front of me. And it will start reading in my ear. I can stop it by placing my hand out in front of me or just tapping the side of the device again. Oh, wow. So I can tap the side of the device or I can point to the text that I want it to read. So if there was a sign on the wall, I could point up at the sign on the wall. It can pick up as far away as billboards. I could be at a grocery store and point to those aisle okay, signs above. Okay, this is amazing. Yeah, so it really <laughs> I feel like does. I'm on an pick episode up. of Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really the is amazing. The translator, because that's literally mm -hmm. it translates people's worlds back yes. to the, so they have access to the, the written world that's out there for them. Yes, that correct. That is really amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. So. Um, Oh, it's still talking to us. What's yeah. it, now what's it's it just going to sleep, it's so it doesn't keep chatting to us. Say good night. We'll miss you. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. um, how do you assess someone who comes in with maybe macular degeneration or some mm -hmm. other challenge? How do you assess what best uh, what's best for them? Yeah, great question. So, um, it all starts with a demonstration of the device. So, for example, I'll be at the Health and Wellness Expo on October seventh with a booth with all of the devices. Someone can walk up to me. They can hold it in their hand and they can utilize it. There, they can press the buttons, try it on, um, see which device is best for them there. We also can do at-home demonstrations as well. So I can give them my card at that expo. They can give me a call. And if they're comfortable, we can do at-home demonstrations, which I've actually done here at Laguna Woods Village. Mm -hmm. So I would come in. They would try on the devices, and they would use them in their home. I love to ask people what their why is. So why do you want the device? Why? Right. What situations have you come across on a day-to-day -day basis where you think, OK, I can't do this independently. I need a little handheld companion mm -hmm. or a wearable mm -hmm. companion. Uh, sometimes that's reading mail, um, reading their bills, reading the newspaper, reading their favorite book. Um, it can be independently grocery shopping. It can be a number of things. Right. Even just if you get a phone call, you want to read who's calling you. Sure. You simply tap the side of the device, read, and you either say, I don't want to pick up that call or <laughs> I do. Um, so I always ask their why, and they always get hands-on mm -hmm. experience with the device before purchasing, mm -hmm. and then follow-up training as well. It's really easy to utilize. As you saw, it's just a tap. Yeah. And then with the handheld device, it's as simple as a click of a button. Okay. Um, so it's very easy to learn, but it does come with training when you purchase directly through okay, OrCam. Yeah, like for myself, I mean, I, I, my readers, you know, I, yeah. I go up you know, every year, so I get, you know, okay, I need a little stronger, I need a little stronger. Is, yeah. it, are the folks like that who just like the readers aren't, aren't there for them anymore in that yeah. kind of situation, all the way to actual degenerative eye issues? Yeah, that's a, um, a really great point that you bring up. So uh, OrCam is expanding their low vision portfolio. Like I showed you, we have the wearable one, we have handheld ones, mm -hmm. and then OrCam just came out with a Read 3 device. There we go. So the main visual difference that you'll see is yellow buttons when you just look at it um, right away. So when you turn the device on, um, I'll show how this can be charged. Chatty. Oh, you, ch you charged it all the way. It's at 100%. <laughs> it's ready to go. So I have a newspaper in front of me, and with this device, all I do is click this button at the front, and a laser box is going to appear. So whatever I capture in that laser box is what it's going to read to me. Oh, so if I only okay. want a small section of the newspaper or bill or whatever it might be read to me, and then I can press that button again to stop because I'm not going to make us read the newspaper this morning. <laughs> but so it not only acts as a handheld companion, but then when it's connected to you go and sit at your computer or you have a tablet, once you connect it to your tablet, it acts mm -hmm. as a magnifier. So it can magnify um, all of the text that's in front of you. And then it can also be placed in this stand as well for a hands-free option. Okay. As we saw, my hands were shaky earlier. <laughs> if I drink too much coffee and my hands are shaky, I can simply mm -hmm. put this below and give it vocal commands. Right. Um, I'm not going to do that, or else it'll keep chatting. Right, but right. it's a hands-free option. But I imagine that's also very helpful just for people to, that, you know, don't are having challenge holding something steady, or like you exactly. said, or to put it here so I clearly point at the spot I want to be at. Exactly. It's a simple vocal command or a click, and it'll start reading the text that's below. So this one is an all-in-one low vision solution. 
that is designed to follow people with their vision loss mm -hmm. journey. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it starts and you do need a magnifier, instead of having a magnifier, a text-to-speech device, and a okay. million different devices, it's an all-in-one solution for you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, how does insurance play into this? Can, are some of these things covered through insurance? Great or is it question. just kind of an outside yeah. the, the insurance industry area? I always <laughs> say right now, it's okay. outside. I'm hoping that will change. It's not covered as a medical device quite yet. Mm -hmm. There are different grants um, and amazing um, just different organizations that can support with grants and financial support as well. Okay. And then there's also payment plans that mm -hmm. can be done directly through OrCam where you can pay monthly rather than paying in full yeah. right away. Because I imagine it's not, this technology doesn't come cheap, right? But yeah. it also it opens up people's worlds and so mm -hmm. what what's the value on that being able exactly. to have that access again can you know people have to take those measured uh, decisions when they, especially with fixed incomes right exactly yes yeah. so that's when I found um, when I've worked with um, people that have fixed incomes the payment plan has mm -hmm. worked well for them mm -hmm. uh, and that's been a question that we talk about is this something that's going to bring more independence to your life and is it worth it are you going to grab at it every day when you're trying to read your bills and whatnot. Um, that's why the why, the demonstration and the training is so important. I was gonna ask about that a little bit. Um, so you get the training, mm -hmm. if people determine like, hey, maybe this isn't quite for me or this isn't working the way I want it to, mm -hmm. uh, it, what, what's the kind of the, the, the buyer's remorse period in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So there's a 30 day return policy. Okay, great. So um, you can really try it out and get the real feel for yes. it. But usually, um, I think the device is really straightforward, so it's mm -hmm. either a good fit or it's not. So right. once I do the demonstration, um, if you're comfortable with me being in your home, you see, okay, I actually will use this in my pantry. I can make sure I'm grabbing all of the right ingredients. Um, I'm going to utilize it with my mail. I'm mm -hmm. going to utilize it with reading my favorite article. Uh, so once you kind of figure out, like, yes, this is a good device for me, there's usually little to no buyer's remorse right, as long right. as you're getting that training. <laughs> Because um, it can be, although the device is really easy to use, if you get any training device, or excuse me, like new device, it can be right. overwhelming. There's like, that, what yeah. button do I yes, click? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Cameron Hessling, thank you so much. This is yeah. really some cool tech. I'm, yeah. I'm super impressed with this. Thanks so much for joining us. We really yeah. appreciate it. And uh, folks can get a hold of you guys through the website uh, and uh, phone number or, or um, the uh, email that we put up on the screen. So that's awesome. fantastic. All right, when we come back, we're going to preview the, Mon or the Friday movie. Stay with us. Peggy Edwards, who heads the publishing club, writes, Sunshine Ludi is one of the kindest people I have ever met. She not only works tirelessly to fund charitable causes, and particularly Alzheimer's, she also Zoomed our meetings and is now helping publish our village stories. It's possible that without her, we would have neither. She asks nothing in return other than a smile. Welcome back to this day. Joining me now is Beth Perrick with Thrive in the Village. Welcome, Beth. It's so nice to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Happy I tell you, I, I love getting to know you all with Thrive. I love having you on the show. I had Mark on once before, and and but I just love the theme and the that you're spreading this love and you're trying to get make sure everybody's included. I, I just think it's such an amazing gift to be giving. Oh, thank you. That that makes me happy to to know that you have got that concept. You have the concept. My one of my goals today was to try to give a kind of a, like a general overall background of who we are and what we're doing right now, just to refresh people and kind of thinking, okay, so starting out in September, we're going to see what we're going to be doing this year. Yeah. How did you get involved in Thrive? You're telling me you're one of the oldest members. Oh. Been there, been with the, doing this since 2008. That yes. is just wonderful. How, how did you get involved with it? It is that is such an old story. There is a book called Humans of New York, and this man um, left Chicago, came to New York, was taking pictures. I'm telling you the shortened version here, taking pictures of people on the street, and just putting them up on YouTube. No narrative. And then one day, 
he saw a woman and she was dressed all in green and he took her picture and he just had to ask and so he said, tell me, why are you dressed all in green? And she said, because one day I had the best day of my life. And that day I was dressed in green. So now every day I'm dressed in green. Oh, wow. So then he put that up, that narrative up, and YouTube exploded with people wanting to see the pictures and hear the stories of other people. Yeah. And so I thought that would be a good thing to do here in the village to hear other stories and to get messages like we see behind you on the screen of of joy and happiness and enjoying living. So I went to, I was on the third board at that time, and I went to the Media and Communications Committee, told that story, and the chair, whose name was Stanley, I can't remember his last name, but he was a really nice man, said, you're it, you stuck this group. And so I pointed to a couple other people on the team and said, would you do this with me? And they did. and. Paul was a part of it immediately, that first meeting. And there was a woman named Heather Rasmussen, who was the communications person here at the time. And she did. And so that's how it started. That was a long time ago. Wow. 2008. And so for you, for today, what, what, is, what does it mean for you to be in Thrive? Or what's the best part of when you, you, know, when you get out of it? What do you get out of it? You know how... Oh. Well, if you hear something that someone says to you, I, this touched me, you, did this happen? So when you hear that, when someone will come up to me and say, oh, thank you so much. I heard this and it just helped me through whatever difficult, yeah. time, difficult time they were having. Yeah. And so those individuals, you know, or if I'm in the grocery store and somebody stops me and says, I've seen you on TV and I love that idea of thriving and doing well and being happy in this village. So that's, that's when it touches your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's absolutely your purpose. Yeah. Y yes. Yeah. So I understand there's a monthly, there's monthly themes and, and the Thrive Kindness Project. Yeah. Thrive Kindness, we started in 2021, I believe, and we had the whole year of kindness, and we decided we're keeping kindness there. So it's kind of our general overall, you know, be kind to others and, and do something small, and kindness is a wonderful thing to do. So, yes, and then we went to, the, we went to monthly themes this year, um, the theme for October is change. The theme for September is create. So we're trying to think of ways that we can promote. What do you do to create? In do you go to Clubhouse Four? Do you paint? Do you um, whatever? Yes. Whatever that you do that's creative. Try a new try a new game. Right. Do something different. Oh, I like that. I like that. Always yeah. growing and expanding. Right, yes. right, right. And so where and, and how does Thrive spread these stories and these messages? Ah, now you ask the really good question. <laughs> so we do, and I had to write it down so I'd make sure I wouldn't, I hope I don't skip anything. We write articles in The Breeze and The Globe, and they are gracious enough to publish for us. We are on Village TV. Um, several of us have uh, TV shows that we use to promote Thrive. Cindy Whitney is one of our p people that do that, and Tom Nash has done that. There's just several of the people that do. We use the message board, which you can see behind you. We have TV interviews, and then when we have large activities in the village, like the health and wellness fair, we have a table there, and we try to promote um, uh, how do you thrive in the village and joy and talk to the people and so those are the ways we do it and there is a beautiful beautiful video that um, Paul Ortiz put together and it is a thrive video but it's about the whole United States and thriving and and it's called the it's called the beauty of California but it pulls in other places as well as 
California and Laguna Woods and thriving. Oh, so I, that's, a, that's another thing that you may see periodically yeah. on, on a loop on TV. Definitely need to check that out. I, I, have, I found something the other day when as I was working, and, I, and I'm assuming this is from you guys. I walked into the bathroom, and I know it wasn't necessarily for me, just for whoever found it, but I found this little card that says you are fabulous, and I'm like, I know I should leave it in here for the next person, but I had to take it and keep <laughs> it because I was so surprised. It made my day, and I so now I have it on my desk. <laughs> that is lovely, and I I can say it is not from the Thrive it's Group, not. but it's with the spirit <laughs> and heart of the Thrive See, Group. So one there's another group kindness, that's, and then it spreads. Right? That's good. Oh, that makes me. Th for real, that's great. <laughs> I understand other clubs collaborate with Thrive on posters and photos and, mm -hmm. and help with, with all this as well. It's not just one group, it's not just one club or group that does this, it's actually a collaboration with a lot right, of people. Right, the, they work with us and help us. And the thing is, we put the messages out, we do not have money, we're not, we don't fundraise and we do not have money. So we have people in the video club that will make videos and the camera club with pictures and make posters. And that's how it happens. We get that message out on TV and around. And, and, and when we show up at the activities, that recreation, recreation is one of the best helpers. Besides media and communications team, just this, and we have so many connections and people that want to help us. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I mean, that says, you know, people in this village want to reach out and bring joy to others. That's so, wonderful. Yeah, and so Saddleback Memorial Care has also joined with Thrive. Yes. And they created things like the ice cream social. Yes. So th they are so much fun. And, and they have money. We don't have money. <laughs> so they can buy things. So four times a year, we will be having ice cream socials. And the very first ice cream social was last year in September. And, um, and then we've had other scents and the ice cream floats, et cetera. In October, we will be having a harvest pie social. And I'm not sure if we're going to have ice cream or whipped cream or your choice on top of that. But look for the flyers and sign up because we can only do like over 100 people, but not, not up to 200 people to know that that's coming. And so this team works with us and teams with us to do the four times a year socials. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. They are wonderful. Well, there's definitely something to look forward to. It sounds like a great event. And Beth, thank you for being here today. I wish you definitely continued more success in this endeavor. It's, it's truly benefiting. Thank you. Would I have time to read one little thing? Sure, real quick, yeah. Okay, real quick. This is something that a woman that came to one of our socials said. And she said that she came to the village when her husband died. And she had all these feelings of emptiness after his death. She went and lived with her son, and she just did that didn't work. And she came here, and she was so afraid of being alone. And instead of being alone and sad, she found herself with people that reached out to her, complete strangers. And when she came to the ice cream social, she told that story, and she said, People have already been reaching out, and look at what you're doing here at this social. And I'm meeting all sorts of new friends. Aww, so, isn't I love that? It yeah. gives me chills. Yeah, that is wonderful. Thank wonderful. you for sharing that. Yeah. If you have any questions about Thrive or questions about any of their upcoming events, e go ahead and email them at thriveinthevillage at gmail.com. Stay with us. We have more of this day coming up. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. Remember me, I'm the king of Whoopi. <laughs> and you're watching Village Television, but everybody does. You know what, I forgot to do our stay informed at the top of the show, so I'll do it now. 
one of the many reasons I will never be employee of the month here at this day. All right, we want to talk to you about what's new, Pussycat. It is the tribute to Tom Jones. It's a tribute singer, and it's free, folks. It is absolutely free. It's going to be Clubhouse 2 on the lawn tonight, uh, rain permitting. Of course, if it doesn't get rained out, hopefully it will be okay. But it's going to be tonight from uh, 4 to 6. It's absolutely free, and it's brought to you by all those sponsors on the side there, so make sure you get out there and see that. It is Tino Machia's new critically acclaimed Tom Jones tribute. He was born in Italy, and Tino is backed by a great band, and it's very in demand, and so we're lucky to have him out here. So uh, rain permitting, hopefully that show is still going on tonight. Hey, let's take a look at our Saturday movie, and it's a classic. It's one about the Korean War, and it is The Bridges at Tokyo Ri, and it's with Grace Kelly, and it's brought to us by Saddleback Memorial Care. Uh, Bridges at Tokyo Ri is a 1954 American war film about the Korean War. It stars William Holden, Grace Kelly, Frederick March, Mickey Rooney. The movie is based on the 1953 novel about two U.S. Navy uh, pilots that are assigned to bomb a group of heavily defended bridges in North Korea. It emphasizes the lives of the pilots and the crew in the context of the Korean War. And I remember seeing little clips of it when I was a kid, and it was a kind of a cool movie, but you know, I didn't, didn't see the whole thing, so it'd be kind of fun to watch it now. All right, let's take a look at some of our announcements. We have some announcements coming up that we want to tell you about. One of them is going to be the Dance on the Edge. It is by Deluxe Nightclub, and it's going to be Sunday, October 1st. So there's going to be some dancing going on tomorrow night here in the village. Uh, the doors open at 4.30. Show starts at 5. Make sure you get out there. Tickets are $15, and it should be pretty fun over there at the Performing Arts Center. We had those folks in the program a little while back, and they were talking about how great a performance is going to be. So it should be a really great show. So I hope you get out there for that. Another one we want to tell you about is the Republican Club is going to have a speaker in town. And they are, it's going to be um, uh, Susan Shelley. And she is with a tax organization, uh, the old Harvest Jar Howard Jarvis Tax Association, member of Prop 13. Uh, so they're going to be a special speaker that's coming in. So make sure you get out for that one. I also want to tell you about the Health and Wellness Expo. It is coming to the village here on Saturday, October 7th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Clubhouse 5. That one's also free, thanks to our sponsors there. And um, there's going to be giveaways, complimentary lunch boxes, uh, and while supplies last on that one. Memorial Care is going to also offer flu vaccines for the first 400 residents to sign up for that. So make sure you get out there to that and uh, see about getting those flu shots. It is cold and flu season, most certainly with the rain we're having. And one more quick announcement before we go. I want to tell you about another great event that's coming up. The Harvest Social is going to be October 19th from 4 to 5 p.m. at Clubhouse 7. There's lots of games. There's going to be pies. Again, giveaways, fun stuff. Again, sponsored, so it's absolutely free to all of you. So just come out there and enjoy that one. Make sure you call Jessica at the phone number and RSVP to come out there and be part of that. Let's take a quick look at our weather before we go. Uh, we got the rain uh, chance all day today in the forecast, so hopefully not going to be too much and not going to dampen any of your plans for the day. Tomorrow, we still have that rain chance in the morning. 67 degrees will be the coolest spot we have for the rest of the week, and we're going to have some AM clouds on Monday. That system's going to be moving out, and we are going to warm up during the week, so enjoy the warmer temperatures as we go. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of this day. I hope you enjoyed watching. We're on at 9 a.m., 12.30, and 5 p.m. right here in Village TV. I'm Michael Taylor. For all of us here at the program, we hope we make this day a great one. We'll see you Monday.